I'm Tom Bloyd, and I create blown glass sculptures. I took a jewelry class when I was in high school and got really into making jewelry. And then I went to the University of Kansas to study jewelry, and they had a glass blowing program. And so I took glass blowing as elective there. Most of my work contains multiple pieces to make the finished work. And I've always done metal work with my glass, and so um, that's always a component to it. The, the newest body of work, my meditation series here, has probably the least metal work in it that I've done, but it still has a little bit to it. This kind of harkens back to some of the jewelry designs I used to like to do, so it's, it's just bigger pieces of jewelry. So as far as how it starts, I have a, a furnace of 2100 degree glass, and then I, I make each individual piece, melt colored glasses in with it, and then I anneal those pieces. Most of these shapes are asymmetrical, pretty much single color pieces, kind of going for a mid-century modern vibe with it a little bit. After that, after I blow the pieces, they come down to room temperature and I sandblast them and create a matte finish, it's almost a, a beach glass look to it. And then I bring them back up and fire polish them and that gives them kind of a luster to them. And then the, the base is the cast concrete that I'm blowing that shape in glass and then casting the concrete into the glass and get almost like a bowling ball kind of shape or, or, or feel to it, a smoothness to it that's really nice. This is a meditation series, so it's like trying for a real peaceful, a little bit of movement to it, just a, a real kind of understatedness to it that, that, that will fit within people's lives, and, but not like dominate a room, be, a, be, a, be a, an accent to other things going on and, and just, you know, give off a good vibe. <laughs> I hope that people that buy and collect my work, when they see it on a daily basis, that it brings them happiness and joy, you know, and they just enjoy looking at it, you know. I always tell customers, like, the last thing I want is for you to look at a piece and not be happy with it, you know. So if it's not today, it can be later down the line when the right one speaks to you, because it's, you know, you want them to be happy looking at your work.